I'm the proud owner of the A7 R2 and R3. During their range, I live and breathe with this camera. When the A7 R4 came out, the feature on offer was not attractive enough to make me want to upgrade. That's just a matter of personal opinion. Now, the A7 R5 is here. Is it finally time? This wouldn't be an in-depth review of the A7R5. I've been out of town for the whole month and I only got to spend 3 days with this camera when I got back. So this will be the first impression video with some sample photo I took with it. To make this easy to digest, I will talk about 5 upgrades on this camera that worth mentioning. First, the new body design inherited from the latest a 714 design. So this get a better hand grip, more tactile button, dual card slot that supports CF Express Type A card and USS2 SD card, the very useful mode dial, full size HDMI, and flex SIM port that A7 Mark IV is missing. Second, the multi-angle LCD screen. It's finally here in a Sony body. This is the greatest upgrade to me on an A7 R5. It's super useful for any situation. I can't think of a flip screen that works better than this. Not only can it flip everywhere, it's bigger and higher resolution too. Next, AI processing unit for auto-focusing. It enhances subject recognition for both photo and videos, meaning it can detect more type of subject and it can do so faster. I only spent a very short time with this camera, but it was instantly apparent that it focuses faster and more intelligently. It even tracks people and animals when we are facing away. Fourth, the image quality on the A7R5 is as good as if not better than the R4. I never really own an R4, so it's not a camera I know very well. But what I can say for the R5 is the image out of it are astonishing. 61 megapixel is crisp and clear. With new XR processor paired with this sensor, come with the ability of 8K video recording. Just bear in mind that this camera was not designed mainly for video. 8K video does have a bad rolling shutter. I would recommend it only use for steady shot. Four K is better in rolling shutter, much more usable, and four K recording is up to sixty P two with one point two time minor cropping. Last one, in body image stabilization. Sony now claim the IBIS is up to eight stop. Again, it's something you need to get your hands on to notice. With sixty one megapixel high resolution, even slight movement will cause you a sharp image. Handheld shot now have a much higher keeper rate. 
based on my short experience shooting with it, and I can also say this is by far the best IBIS from Sony for both video and photos. The A7R series has always been more focused on still photography, but let's not ignore how capable they are for video shooting too. A7R5 comes with 8K and 4K 60p recording. Not the best in class, but surely enough to get the job done. And the new bigger 5 axis tilt screen is simply the best thing for video shooting. Does this mean the new Alpha models following with this will all inherit with the same screen? Will this make the A7S4 the perfect video camera? Can't wait to see it become a reality. So that's all for this video. Like, subscribe and comment to keep this channel alive. I'm Jay. see you in the next video. I wish I had more time with this. R5, time to get upgrade.